Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. More of the Talos Principle 2 tonight. Last time, we pretty much cleared the first little tiny area here. Um, as much as we could. We can't do the, the, the gold gate thing until we get all the stars, presumably. And we didn't find the, the lost lab or whatever it was, right? Yeah. Um, so those two things will remain undone for now. Uh, but we can head on over to uh, the second area, I suppose. And, and do some more puzzles and you know, generally play the game. Um, so let's do that, because then I think once we do the three areas, we get the three things lit up, and then this quadrant is taken care of, I suppose. So let's go ahead and go to uh, East 2 Wooded Plateau. Sure, sure, why not? Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, so we get this cool little high-speed personal rail thing, I guess, again. Get to watch the frame generation lose its damn mind as it's trying to high-refresh the scene here. Alright, everybody. I'm sure you're all excited to check out the next site. But while you're there, remember that I'm still trying to fix the rest of the transport system. Meaning Maybe what? Maybe there's another one of those labs that Wonke found. Meaning we can't go anywhere else. <laughs> can't go nowhere else until Melville fixes the transport. That's alright. We've got plenty of stuff to do while they take care of that. So, uh, let's see what we got. It's the eight standard puzzles, the two lost ones, quote-unquote lost ones, and uh, probably two stars again, right? Yeah, two more stars. And then a gold gate we can't do, and maybe we'll stumble across the lost lab. Who knows? Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. So here we go. Wooded Plateau. Well, that's well, the big-ass tower over there, right? We don't have any of the things for this just yet. Yeah, naturally. Uh, but okay, let's, let's have a look around. I could follow... I guess we could follow the arrows for now, right? Um, and just stumble upon shit as we do puzzles. Let's, you know, follow the path mostly. We'll take a, a dip off every now and again just to see if there's anything fancy. Just past them trees, you know? Uh, 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 uh. Have a look sees around every now and again. See, this looks like it might be something important. It's not necessarily marked as a puzzle or anything. We should also be looking up sometimes too, right? Because one of the stars is all about shooting a laser outside one of the puzzles, you know? That seems like maybe it's just a normal ass archway that one might have out in their backyard, you know? Hey, Valiant Cheese, how you doing? Good to see you. How am I finding Talos Principle 2? It's fun, I like it. When we get to the actual puzzles and stuff, it's like, oh yeah, this is exactly what I remember from TP1. It is pretty fun. Um, there's a bit more, like, open-worldy walking around, maybe, than I was expecting and or want. <laughs> but, but it's fun. It's fun all the same. Okay, there's another archway over there that, uh, is particular, of any particular value, apparently. Oh, but we got a little thing over here. Whenever you see something glowing in the shape of a hand, go ahead and jam your hand on it. That's what we've learned. World spirit, blah, blah, blah. I don't think I'm gonna read all this, honestly. This is, this is world building, which is fine and cool, and it's philosophy, which is all fine and cool, but we're not really here for philosophy right now. Um, blah, 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 nah, 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 background noise, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, we get another voice clip from Trevor. He didn't really say much in the first one, but we'll see what we got. We can listen to that whilst we stroll. So, what are you doing here, Trevor? Why are you trying to save the world? Ask no one, oh, which is why you're asking look, yourself. <laughs> I think humanity is awesome. Whoa. I love humanity. I don't know if I would say awesome. Great. I mean, our track record is pretty mixed, but have you seen Pretty everything? mixed? Oh, we can't even, like, gently slide down the slope to that outcropping. Fucking boo. <laughs> That's what I was going to do whilst listening to Trevor. All right, I guess we got to restart that one, huh? Or wait, okay, can we do that? Gonna go into the logs. Where was that? 
research, I guess? Yeah, here. Oh, we get so a little preview. Considers the animal Trevor? kingdom. Oh, Why boy. are you okay. trying to save the world? Well, that totally looks well, like something you should be able I to go down to. Humanity is awesome. I love humanity. Damn. As a species, oh, well. we're great. I mean, our track yeah, record is greatest. pretty mixed, but have you seen everyone else? Very charitable. I mean, what did you do today, animal? Oh, I ate some leaves, sniffed my own butt, crap myself, and went extinct. And also oh, didn't know, harm my own species for fun. That seems butt, like animals are ahead of us, honestly. And extinct. They really don't do anything interesting. I mean, you don't see animals directing Big Trouble in Little China. Birds can go, tweet, tweet. But it ain't exactly the White Album. I mean, they can't even make a good cheeseburger, for Christ's sakes. They Trevor. Art, no cuisine, <laughs> no pleasure. You're not... Oh, nice to look at, but you wouldn't want to be one. Trevor, you're not selling Except me on humanity cat. here. I could be a cat. Okay, Trevor, that was a lot of words for saying precisely nothing. Okay. I think I'm starting to understand why Trevor wasn't mentioned before. Oh well. Oh well. That be what it be, you know? That be what it be. Alright, I think this is puzzle two here. Um, we should go back to... to puzzle one. Because I got distracted by this weird arch thing. Thinking that it would, uh... It'd be something to look at. Or something important or whatever. But it turns out it's just an arch. In fact, there's another one over there. Um, well, let's go back this way. Back to the path. And go to puzzle one, which presumably is probably this. Yep, got a big old one on it. All right, what are we dealing with? What we got? Mmm, we got. Oh, that looks like a new fancy device. What's this? Creates wormholes in compatible materials. Okay, so it's like a portal, sort of. Yeah, hey, look at that. Oh, but we can't crawl through it. We can't crawl through. The, like, I feel like we could. You know, bend over and step through this, but no, I guess that's that's not what they want us to do. So, all right. Okie dokie. Um, can we? Uh, let's see if we could. You know, maybe pick up things through the hole. Is that a thing we can do? Oh, you can. You just can't. Not through the one it's making. Aha! <laughs> that's cool. All right. I guess that makes sense, because you'd have to pick it up and turn it off, and that, that wouldn't go well. But alright, so now we got some free shit to deal with. Um, okay, what do we got on this side? Buttons? Oh, I see. I see what we're doing. So, the first puzzle with this stuff involved, right? We, uh... We learned that we can carry things through the holes. Um, it's not... Yeah, there we go. Just it off. Then we can take this one through, and then we produce the, the hole with this one, and we take that one through, and yeah, there we go. Press both buttons. I like there's a lot of robot to carry through the right? Like, we've already gone over this, right? Not much of a butt there, and I'm pretty sure we could very easily bend over and, and do whatever. We actually never looked at, at our model here, did we? Not too closely. You know, pretty standard. Pretty standard stuff as far as robots go, right? Alright, but we did. Puzzle one. Complete. Cue the uh, voice clips from the rest of our party being like, Oh man, something happened. One case solved a puzzle. There's a sense of That's what they sound like. This place might be meant to test us somehow, but perhaps there's more to it than that. Yeah, fire and wow, what an observation, man. Really, uh, really justifying that self-appointed team lead title he's got going on. Eh. Well, we know we can tunnel out of shit now. Imagine that might come in handy later for, uh, for, like, the extra stuff. But okay, alright, puzzle one pretty good. Pretty easy. Good way to inform the player about how to use that shit, right? Oh, there's a path that splits off here. Didn't see that before. Okay, that's curious. That's got a very unique shape to it, doesn't it? Gotta be something. Probably something, huh? Is 
See, like, things things can be pretty, sure, things can be pretty, but in the world of Vidge games, right? Things that stand out and look different, there's got to be a purpose for them other than just looking pretty. Usually, usually there is. Anyways. This has, this does something else written all over it. But perhaps we just don't know. We don't know enough info to, to glean what that is just yet. Okay, and that was the entrance, right? <clears throat> That was where we jetted in on our little, our little train pod thing. Oh, hey, we can talk to. Oh, it's Byron. <laughs> All right, okay. Byron, what's up? What do you know? What do you know besides uh, middle management gross garbage? What do you make of this thing? I don't know what she is. Uh huh. Ontologically speaking. Okay. But those questions she asked reinforce my belief that we're being tested. Or perhaps analyze. Uh huh. I'm pretty sure that I was the one that said something about a test, but hey, whatever. Oh, that's all. Wow. Byron. Really picked up the new knowledge while we've been here, huh? Let's see where you're headed off to. This looks like, is this number eight or something? No, this is, uh. Oh, this is number one. We just did this one. Right, because I walked that way, marveled at the towers, etc. I kind of wanted to look at around this area a bit. Oh, it's just another path to the other, other puzzles too. Okay, never mind. Let's stick to the main path. We'll do the, try to do the regular puzzles in order, I guess, because uh, they seem to sometimes they build on each other, right? Although, I know this leads off to the weird fancy tower, right? I guess we'll just have to remember this is here. And uh, come back to it once we know a little more. So I imagine my my suspicion is this the this leads to one of the stars. That's what my thought is. But uh, well, until we figure that out, move on to puzzle two. You're <laughs> appropriated by observation, right? Look, like. Byron, despite being number seven, right? He he must have been patterned after a middle manager. Gotta be that, right? Okay, puzzle two. Oh, more lasers. Excellent. Do you like lasers? All right, we've got a tunneler thing, which, boy, hmm. Let's just go ahead and do that. All right. Okay, more tunnelable walls. Uh, is this gonna permanently stay open? Nope! Okay. Okay. Are there... Other... Okay, okay. There's another thing. A jammer. Oh, I see. Okay. Go ahead and jam that motherfucker. Let's see what we can see. Elsewhere, we've got more force fields, more other things, and oh, I guess now I can do it from this side, right? And then I can take the jammer. Yeah, I can jam that one and take an actual look around here. Button, force field. Oh, now I can probably uh, take the tunnel earth thing again too, right? And then we can probably jam this through this wormhole, yeah? Yeah, yeah I can. Um, well, alternatively, what we're going to do is jam this from here, and then we can grab the jammer through the through the tunnel, right? Yeah, look at that, see? Easy. Um, and then I will go ahead and jam that from here. Oh. Uh, is that gonna work? Because then that's gonna close immediately, right? Yeah, okay, that didn't work so well. Um... Okay, let's do that and think about that for a moment. Jam this for a second. Yeah, I see. Okay, so I just gotta keep leapfrogging until we've got both things pretty much on this side. Uh... Okay, and I need to... 
Oh, yeah, I see. Let's jam that thing. I'll move this over here. I think. Or, no. How am I gonna... How's that gonna work? Oh, uh, I'm an idiot. I can just carry it over. <laughs> carry it over and block it from the other side, you dummy. Yeah, duh -er. Can I block it from here? No, I can't. I have to do this. And then I've got the free standing thing to just do that. <laughs> Great. Glad I made that harder than it needed to be. All right, we did it. Puzzle two. I keep thinking, why puzzles? Is it just why not? Wallet value because of our history? Because the thing about puzzles is they can be solved. Yeah. But if this is about testing us, uh -huh. what are we being tested for? I don't know. It can't just be about spatial reasoning. Why not? Our curiosity. Our persistence. Okay. Good point, Spire. Good You're point. Assuming that this place follows a coherent logic. Also good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My impression is that it's full of contradictions. Okay, good. Good points all the way around from most of the team. <laughs> oh, and I see. It just opened up all the force field bits so we can get out easy. That's good. I like that. A <laughs> big brain moment for a small brain puzzle. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to run into that a lot. <laughs> or, okay, no, I should only speak for myself. I, I, I have a feeling I'll run into that a lot. I'll try to overthink these. Try to do shit that doesn't need to be done in the service of solving the puzzle in a way that it shouldn't be solved, probably. Um, that happened a lot in TP1, too, let's be honest. But that's okay. That's okay. That's what happens when you uh, give, give the player a moment to, to think for themselves, right? They do unexpected things in unexpected ways. Sometimes both at once. Um, okay, yeah, that was the... Trevor was yakking about something or other, and this was puzzled too. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't look like there's anything else of value kind of around here, right? Curiously placed, but maybe nothing. Let me climb down here, or is that going to be too much? Oh no, okay, we can. But there's nothing down here, so. Uh oh, did I strand myself down here? Come on! Use those robo legs! <laughs> there we go. Someone was like, hey, is that coffee bean that people only eat after it's been dead? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I know I know what you're talking about, because I've read that same thing. I went, what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I mean, it's the same weird shit about humanity, right? Like, somebody decided to do something with pretty much everything, right? And that's why we know to do it or not to do it, as the case may be. And then later we think about it and we're like, why the fuck would we ever do or not do that to begin with? Kind of silly. Kind of silly, but you know, that's that's humanity. Which is a very, very charitable tagline for humanity, too. Humanity, kind of silly. Right? Oh, uh, puzzle three, right. Okay, so... Ooh, more lasers, okay. Tunnely bits. Tunnelly bits, a few force fields, and some lasers. Okay. Well, oh, and a, ooh, a combo laser thing. Okay, okay, okay. Now, well, let's see what we can see here. Let's grab. Can we tunnel lasers through here? We can. Okay. So, bop, bop. Grab the combo laser thing. Anything else on this side? No. Okay. 
So we've got a blue source. And there's the red source over there, so that handles green. Presumably there's going to be a green source somewhere. But I guess for now, do we have a... We don't have a jammer. Let's take the tunnel bit. Okay, there's the red source. Um, here, take that. Red to red. Oh, grab the other single bit here, right? Okay. Oh, and there's a... Uh, got some ladders here, too. That's interesting. Also, holes in the ceiling. Very conspicuous holes in the ceiling. Uh, huh? I imagine this is just an escape hatch to get out from behind here if we uh, take the wrong thing at the wrong time and it locks us in. That's probably a pretty good idea, honestly. Alright. We've got a red source, we've got a blue source. Um, which means we've got... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do instead, actually. I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna set this one here. And I'm gonna be like... Flip. Bloop. Flop. Flip. And set this like over here. So then we can take the tunneler and still have the red source through there, right? Because then we can use the blue source here and do blip, blue, red, green, bonk. Uh, well, let's move this over a little bit. Well, move it over a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was it. Ah, okay. I was expecting one additional step here, but hey, we did it. Very good. Hey, Fire John, how you doing? Good to see you. The little, the little portly bits are new to Area 2 here. Yeah. Which we cannot step through ourselves, but we can, uh... We can, uh, pull items through them, so if there's something on the other side there, we can, we can grab it. Except for the thing making the portal itself. You can't grab that through its own... Which makes sense, I suppose. Alright. Pretty good. A little more complicated, but pretty good. Oh. There was a switch here. Uh. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna go back and look at the other two. Did we miss a switch on those? Should be inspecting everything that we come across here. That switch is definitely a new thing. There's two. Yeah, switch on that one. Okay. Is there a switch on number one as well? There's a laser puzzle on the road to Gehenna and DLC is absolutely bonkers. I don't know how you solved it. Uh, you remember which one it was? Because I don't have any particularly strong memory about most of the puzzles. I remember vaguely that I brute forced a couple, almost certainly in ways that were not intended. But I don't remember like a specific puzzle. That might have been one of the ones that I did do such a thing on. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we did one through three, right? Um, so on to number four, and I guess we'll be cognizant of sh switches on these little signpost things now. Uh, we're aware that they're there. So take looks around the forest, right? Because... This seems to be a lot more trees in the first area. And you never know what kind of secrety secrets they might be hiding. Alright, alright, alright. Seems good. 
Okay, I uh, kind of got lost on the path there, which... Okay, this is number three. Four is this way. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad we have a way to travel reasonably fast, because there's a lot of ground to cover. There is a lot of ground to cover. Okay, and then there, there's like a little outcropping on top of that thing that we can't really see. And this thing, too. Just get a little bit higher here so we can see if that's anything of import or just like a little decorative bit. I feel like these random, like actually constructed stone outcroppings are probably something. Here to be in the immediate area, though. Like, do they overlap and form a symbol? That would be a very the witness thing to do. Oh, and wait, shit, we got that notification down there too now. What does that mean? Oh, good, it's a social media thing. Oh, good, it's from the weirdo that was like, hey, I want to know your personal stuff. Related to your responses to my friends, they reached certain conclusions regarding your character. <laughs> oh boy! If there's anything I want to hear, it's uh, future Rando's opinions about my character. Yeah, okay, fine, let's hear it. <clears throat> I need to suddenly fill you in your rifle marks a moment of blah 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 blah. Differences of opinion about what it ought to become. Yeah, I know that. I say there are people working quietly behind the scenes in an advisory capacity. This dude's use of ellipses is uh, a little ominous. Find the other cities to prosperity. People who know things which would only scare or confuse the average citizen. Oh, yeah, they're the ones that know the real truth. Oh, yeah, right, whatever. I have such friends who expressed to me their interest in getting to know me. All right, well, who the fuck are they? Can't tell you yet their names. Yeah, okay, of course they can. Tell you a little bit about them. First, as an engineer by trade, tends to see the world as a puzzle to be solved. That sounds like Melville and Lennon. Second, as a scholar of some repute, thinks the big questions of answers in our code. Third, is well hard to pin down a practitioner of the esoteric arts. Oh boy, that's not fucking loaded. <clears throat> Fourth, is a member of the political establishment. And the fifth, well, the less I say about them, the better for everyone. Fucking. What sort of crew is this guy rolling with? I mean, honestly, of those, it's pretty vague, right? But of those, the fucking engineer, right? The problem solver. The rest are just kind of like, eh, 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 wishy-washy type garbage, right? The engineer. Uh, wait, what was the question? Oh, someone would make a good match, yeah. Share the same faith in human reason, but I wonder if you'd be comfortable with their more radical ideas. Here's my questions, our observations of behavior elsewhere has given us a massive amount Jesus, wow, wait. <laughs> Hold on a sec. He's a fucking fast typer. Um, I guess he's a robot like me, too, so, you know, that makes sense. You know, a massive amount of data, it's clear that there's only one person that I should put you in touch with. Wait, why is that clear? Citing evidence not in fucking the court record here. Uh, you've shown compassion for your fellow humans and open-mindedness to the point that your brains might fall out. You support me a great deal of my esoteric friend. They won't be pinned down by how blah, 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 blah. Let's say it shouldn't be pinned down. On that, they're absolute. Uh... Okay, so what was the point in letting me make the choice, then? I'm liking this Doge character less and less. Not that I liked him a lot to begin with. Um... Blah, 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 blah. I mean, and plus this is kind of unclear. Like, are you saying I'm going to be matched with this esoteric one, or are you going to match me with the one that I requested? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, please do. And we'll see where this goes. Send an introduction in due course. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Can't wait for that to come back and bite me in the robot ass. Okay. Where were we? Puzzles. Puzzles. Right, I was investigating those things. There was nothing to it, so... Let's see what else we've got. Four! Does it have a switch on it? Sure does. Okay. Alright. <sighs> Place. Alright. Ooh, got a... 
a blue laser bit up there. A couple force fields, some switches, some fans. Ooh, we're getting complicated. Oh, I see. That's the thing for the, the, the end, the finish, the solution. All right, but then we've got a puzzly platformy bit there with the blue laser. And I can't reach my robot arms in there to grab the cube, huh? Okay. And that's probably for later. What else do we have to work with? Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Grab that single laser connector bit here. else in there. Okay. And that's all. That's all we got to work with, huh? Okay. Well, one single laser bit. One, uh, oh, I see. I see what's going on here, actually. Um, yeah, alright, I get it. Blip. Oh, I need that box first. I see what's going on. Okay. Let me put this on the platform, which probably opens that thing, right? So then I need the box. Uh, and that's probably it, and I can just re-grab that. Yeah, okay. And then we need to connect uh, laser bit there, laser bit there, and we need to put this on the thing here to open the hole right about uh, there, let's say. And then do that, and bonk. Hey, look at that. We did it. We thought about things in the third dimension. You know something that's weird <laughs> about these puzzles? They're not replicas of the simulation puzzles, like the ones in the museum. Wait, Yakut, are you saying they're brand new puzzles? That involved new puzzles of some kind. That was Barzai. It was called Trials of an Imagined Past. What about an imagined future? I tried to come along. You thought it would be boring. Were they similar? No, not at all. Was it boring? <laughs> yes, it was very much so. Aw. <laughs> Uh, fuck. Okay. Um, alright, cool. I like that one. Okay, we've got a few question mark things on our compass now, too, for some reason. I wonder if that has to do with the switches we're pulling. Pushing? Pulling. I guess pulling. They're, they're levers, right? Yeah. Oh, they're not like the... I wish this was the, the real big, like, two-pull switches that used to be like circuit breakers or whatever, the, the big throw switches. Those are fun, but very scary. Alright, let me see if that um, removes a thing from our thing here. One, two, three, four, five question marks versus one, two, three, four, five question marks. Okay, that probably had no effect, but alright, we'll leave that thrown for now. Move on. Oh, there's another... Why does this one have two markers? That's curious. That's also very curiously shaped at the top there. Hmm. Then there's a third marker over here for it. That's weird. The other three have more than one? Hmm. Okay, well, maybe it's just decorative. Maybe all the weird stonework here is just, uh, just for the looks. Maybe Byron was right. Maybe it just looks pretty to look pretty. Probably not, but, you know, he could be right, I guess. Alright. Puzzle 4 was fun, though. 
That was a fun, fun little bit. Oh, hey, it's one of the lost ones. Not very lost. Like, there's a path leading right to it. But okay. I mean, we're here. Uh, oh, is there a switch on this thing somewhere? Nope. Okay. Keeping connections. Alright, we got a tunneling bit. One laser connector bit. Two laser connector bits. A red laser bit. I need to grab this. Oh, which I can't because it's behind a behind a thing of a ding. Uh, all right, okay, and then there's the there's the laser source. Um, can we target these from behind this thing? Oh, yeah, just barely. But the laser itself doesn't go through there, right? Oh, and that one's kind of stuffed off the way it is, but I think I can do it like this, right? Keep connections like that, and then be like, uh, yeah, I mean, clearly that's not going to work, but, oh, well, all right, whatever. I think the laser doesn't travel through the purpley bits, right? Let's see. It... Oh, it actually does. Interesting. Well, then we can kind of do this, can't we? Just need to do it... Oh, no, I can't. Can't do it like that. Uh... Hmm. that right there. Move this over just like a tiniest bit. Because that lights that up. Can't reach through this thing, though. And I don't think I have enough of an angle on this <clears throat> to, uh, Get it like in there, right? Or maybe I do. No, no, I don't. Hmm. That's all they gave me for this, right? Just a tunnely bit and two single laser bits. There's not like another one hanging out at the end, is there? No, but there is. No, because then that's the end. <sighs> Okay. Well, the only way for me to get to the laser, to the red laser source, is by having this open, yeah? And we can't reach our robot arms in there to reposition that one. And we don't have enough of an angle here to... Well, maybe we don't. No, we don't. Let's just target it directly from there. That would be too easy. Mm. And there's no way for me to pull this one out. That's what the whole laser bit is for, is to open that force field so I can get it. Is there any way for me to walk into... No. Can't walk into that. Can I... No, that's too far. Alright. There's no way for me to pull this through this bit here. If we 
move this around a little bit. Let's move it like all the way back here. That seems terribly helpful. We don't have much of an angle elsewhere, do we? No. I see, yeah. Put this back through there, and then that opens, doesn't it? Oh, that was, oh, that was cool. Okay. Ah, that's closer, I think. Can I just move it a little bit further back, maybe? Be like, hey, now just go. That's not enough of an angle, is it? Because why would it be? Yeah, shit. Mm, that would have been pretty clever. Not clever enough, though. Okay. Are there any more walls that I can tunnel through? I think it's just those two. That seems to be a much wider wall, though, than this other one, isn't it? Yeah, okay. What could that mean? Okay, well, let me re-grab that. Oh, just like that, huh? Oh, there's less of a... Oh, I see. It's narrower on this side than it is on that side. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, shit. Okay. Like so much science, accidents are very helpful. All right. Um, well, I need to keep this open, right? So I can get this other one out. There we go. Alright, and then we got the two laser bits. Um... Actually, is this gonna be... I guess it'll still be useful, right? Just need to make sure it can project out there. Go like that. That and oh yeah, look at that. All right. Any progress on the particle clouds, Melville? It's pretty clear that yes. Bother the fun. one other person oh, who's yeah, doing go. useful yeah, shit. Yeah, Bother yeah, the yeah, engineer. Yeah, they yeah, love yeah, that. Answer. And I can't guarantee that my answer <laughs> won't be another question. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Melville. I really do. I'm starting to like Melville more and more. Definitely fucking of the same ilk where just leave me the fuck alone and let me do my shit. Constantly getting asked for status reports and shit. Well, this is one of the hidden bits, right? So that was fun. A bit more of the of the noggin needed for that. And not too far off the path either. I think I, I like that they still mark it with a path though, cuz with these like massive spaces you can very easily overlook it. But anyways, I was on my way to what? Number 4 or number 5, right? And does it uh, tell me if that was one or two? I guess it just says it was one. We'll probably find the second one in the second half of this stuff, too. Alright. 
Oh, but here, we can kind of climb up and get a... No, maybe. Let me up there, please. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Oh, that feels like that should be walkable up there. Maybe later. Okay. Let's see if we're up high enough that we can see what was on those other pedestals. If anything. Oh, no, because now we're on the other side of everything. Shit. Now that figures. Make sure there's no other laser bits we can target outside here, because, like, that one's now kind of up and above, right? So anything from line of sight there to... Yeah, it doesn't look like anything else in range. Okay. Oh, uh, the remains of something. What? <laughs> the fuck was this supposed to be the remains of? How did it, well, how did a tree grow up and out of that thing? But what is that? Uh, oh, it's, it's supposed to be a tank, I see. Armored war machine. Yeah. Yeah. War does uh, beget a lot of ingenuity in destroying and killing things. That's for sure. Uh, that's a depressing thought, isn't it? Yeah, that looks, only looks like a... You would be able to get up there and walk around. Okay, and yeah, definitely off the, off the path a bit. It's also very true. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what makes it depressing. <laughs> It really is. Oh, man. Sigh. Okay, yeah, we're definitely not on a path here now, but maybe this will yield something else of value, like this structure up here. Very well, could be something. Yep. Oh, it's a puzzle. Uh. Oh, it's number seven. Okay, why don't we jump ahead a bit? And boy, if that doesn't look like something over there, huh? In clear view of uh, something else. Yeah, look at this thing. An eyeballish of something. Doesn't have the gold plate attached to it, so it's probably not a star. But I imagine this is. Like, this is too unique not to be something, right? And again, it's got eight segments on it, so that could this could be the thing what which the eight switches on the puzzle markers do something too. Okay, well let's unskip away from seven then. Oh, and there's also whatever this is. Oh, is this gonna be the hidden lab? Did we accidentally a thing? I think we did. Nice. Okay. Yeah, this looks like the lab from somewhere else, right? This is very similar to the structure where you found the schematic. Yeah, the, what which taught us about the lasers. And also let Melville fix wow, the first transport thing. Bigger than I expected. <laughs> what were they doing here? Don't ask you questions you don't want answers to. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna jam our hand into this glowy thing. Oh. oh. Origins of thought. Blah 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 blah. Uh, okay, I guess this is kind of important, right? Two of the things we're on to being by ideas is to flatter ourselves just an error philosophers are particularly prone to is raise those who think above those who do. Oh, I see. I was I was expecting it to say those who don't, implying those who don't think. <laughs> hey Richard Digbeck, how you doing? Good to see you. Um because I was expecting it to imply that it raises those who think above those who who do not think, which um I kind of agree with. Because, <laughs> uh, 
people should be thinking, right? Um, but it raises those who think above those who do, um, which is, you know, I don't agree with. Um, then what is the truth that does not, then what is the truth that does not flatter? That the reverse is true. Ideas are brought into being by matter, and so each man's ideas are shaped by the world that surrounds him. It's clay shaped by a small, um, uh, okay, yeah, I, I, I don't disagree with that. Those who live in mountains fear cold, those who live in deserts fear thirst. I mean, yes, those are good fears to have, that's fucking survival instincts. Um, Athenians are shaped by Athens, and uh, oh boy. Lacedaemonians by Sparta. Is that what the Spartan residents were called, really? Yeah. And likewise is for all and likewise is for all people. So the main idea is if we take each man to be an idea, not be deliberate not by deliberate action, alter the shape of the mold as you put it. Our method for accomplishing this is the chief purpose of philosophy. I don't know if I agree with that. But uh okay. <clears throat> blah 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 and then footnotes, etc. And then, wait a minute. So I, I imagine this is meant to emulate some of like the, the the Greek and Roman philosophers and all that, right? And they've got the fucking comments section here. <laughs> uh, which I suppose is kind of ironic for me to point that out, since I am effectively acting as the comments section, right? By uh, shooting up my mouth off about this stuff. Uh, blah 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 Okay, so no, this is supposed to be like the modern thinkers after the world went to hell and we all got to be robots and shit, right? Okay. Oh, blah 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 blah. I'm talking about progress notes about something, right? Uh huh. Systems, blah 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 blah. Version 0.06. Wow. Also, that's a lot of trials. At least they left themselves six digits for the number of trials that's uh that's a bit of an ominous sign <laughs> but it's good to like plan ahead for a lot of things right uh they have space carved out blah 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 easy to destroy hard to create yeah ain't that the truth easy to optimize only one aspect yeah uh huh 0.07 improvements to blah 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 0.08 halted and then no energy for 80 some trials okay Cool. And then a schematic. Okay, cool. We get to learn actual things that are useful in game. Oh, maybe not. Oh, shit. Oops. Maybe we should pull our hand out of the glowy bit. Oh, shit. If Elohim starts yakking at us the here. World is a wonderful okay, place. good. Thank you. Every day we take another step forward. Huh? Every day we come closer to the truth. Do we know? we get, the more I can see the beauty of the universe, the intricate perfection of its mechanisms. I am a machine. Uh huh. And the universe is a machine. Maybe. Every part of me serves a purpose. Yeah, well, except the appendix. I could not be oh, man. wait, you're a robot. Never mind. Person could not exist without those specific parts and their specific functions. Mm. In the same way, every part of the universe serves a purpose. I think that is what we were meant to discover here. Sure. Okay. I mean, not really anything there I hard disagree with. Oh no, I want to look around. Let me look around. Ah. Oh good, another Teams chat is starting. Okay. What? You just connected to an extremely powerful data stream. Are you all right? So? I'm fine. <laughs> Jeez. Lucky this time, but please everyone, let's be careful with these terminals from now on. Uh. Yes, let's all try not to die. More important. Good advice. <laughs> Who the hell is Miranda? How the hell do you know about Miranda? That was me that had the vision. Search the database. Uh, whatever. Um. Well, I don't want to claim it's one of the people who built this place because we don't we don't know shit about Miranda. Um, maybe it's a nickname. I don't recognize the voice either. Maybe we need to consider the possibility that it's someone new. Someone we've never met before. But where did they come Wait, from? Wait, slow down. How long does it take to build something this huge? Like I said, we need to find out more. Well, you'll be happy to hear that I'm about to fix another part of the transport system. Okay. Thanks for the files, Wonka. You're welcome. I See, someone appreciates us. 
someone appreciates us right there. Um, you know what? Stick our hand back in there. Oh, that's all we got. Never mind. Okay, and then it teaches us about the things, right? So last time it taught us about the combo laser bits. What's this one teach us? That it just inverts the, the color of the laser, maybe? Turns red to blue. And blue to red? I think that's it. Okay. second floor to it. Damn, this place is rather sizable, isn't it? Oh, good! Another glowy bit! Surely nothing bad will happen here. <laughs> Untitled draft. Okay. And uh, identifies the Tetromino. Tetra, Tetromino. With the Tetro... Tetragrammaton. What the f... I'm gonna tab out real quick and see if that's a word. That doesn't sound like a word. What is that? Tetra... Grammaton. Oh shit, it is a word. Oh, okay. Hebrew Hebrew word for God. Interesting. Oh, yeah, in yeah, a way, okay. And the Greek word for God, I guess. So. Wild, okay. Totally doesn't sound like a word. All right. Uh, it's desired to impose meaning on the simulation, you know, the heretical, and the idiotic, so these layers of obfuscation, some kind of truth hidden in all this. It really is, in a sense, made up of minute parts that can be combined and recombined without breaking underlying laws. I mean, yeah. The thing that exists is made of the same fundamental materials, and those materials are brought into existence by the same fundamental functions of reality. Yet the miracle of existence is that we are not all one, but in fact, radically different and separate. I mean, sure, I guess. Okay. New Alexandria. In early days where people a great deal of responsibility fell on my shoulders. Yeah, well, as number two, I would expect that. Uh, there were few of us then, and though we are stronger and hardier than the human, we are not invincible. The world was an overgrown ruin, and our resources extremely limited. It was a harsh time. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. But I felt passionate about the work, fired up by many sacrifices, blah, 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 and yada, yada. Uh, New Jerusalem grew. And it dipped some of the plans uh, Dren's team had left behind. I don't think they had expected the simulation to take as long, but it was all working. So I made a terrible mistake. Oh boy. In the way of safeguarding against disaster, I proposed the creation of a second settlement, New Alexandria. Its location was far from the day on the powers of New Jerusalem. I attempted to build a thermal power station to take advantage of a local gas reservoir. Mostly used geologic data from the archive, failing to account for the amount of time that had elapsed. Well, yeah, that's where you fucked up there. Uh, what's this thing's name? Eustathius. We're all right. We were looking for, for, for them, but they weren't at the museum. Um, five years later, this error led to an accident that leveled the sediment, settlement and killed 31. Oops! Well, that's unfortunate. When there's only going to be a thousand of you, you kill 31 of them. That's not good. And it was his fault. Yeah, he made a mistake. It was the entire way to blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, New Jerusalem as a whole is his fault. He did his best to get started, and the dead remain dead, and that has to be faced. Yes, that is true. Can't bring the dead back yet. Ethics of extinction. The species we consider beautiful and remarkable goes extinct. We consider that a great evil. Dolphins, for example. If dolphins go extinct, that's a great loss. Yeah, I mean, because dolphins are very, very smart. That would be a pretty big loss, wouldn't it? Humanity causes dolphins to go extinct. That's a crime. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, but if you're sending a Pers Yersinia pestis, the bacteria that causes bubonic plague, goes extinct. Is that an equally great loss? If not, why not? To nature, there's no difference. It's all just life forms. The only moral framework that allows us to choose between dolphins and the plague is a human one. I, I guess. Well, at least she's going extinct without anthropogenic factors. Extinction is the norm. If one day dolphins are no longer capable of competing with other species, she really let them go extinct. When the sun finally dies and all life goes extinct, will that be a tragedy? I mean... Probably. If we can prevent it, should we? Uh, maybe. <laughs> if you believe that extinction is acceptable when nature does it, but not when we do it, then you don't actually oppose extinction. You don't believe that dolphins are inherently valuable, that they deserve to live and thrive. You just oppose human control. Uh, there's something funky about that. I can't put my finger on it at the exact moment, though.
let's go do some puzzles. <laughs> let's not think about extinction for a hot second here and go do some puzzles. Let me out of here. Isn't this the door I came in? Mystery of Miranda. Oh. Oh, wait, that's right, because we're kind of live streaming everything to everyone here, aren't we? I mean, minus the 31 that are dead, right? I don't see the existence of another person, not someone not from New Jerusalem. I mean, is that the assumption they're making? That this Miranda robot is not one of the original thousand? Hmm. Interesting. Why do you think Miranda's from Earth? There's no evidence to support that idea. See? There's Jacques. Jacques is speaking the... Speaking the logic there. I really don't think it's aliens. Everything here is obviously related to New Jerusalem. Why well, wouldn't... No, that's not true. I mean, I think Miranda's still from Earth, but I don't think she's from, like, the original thing. Um, let's hear more about those attempts, I guess. People affiliated with the Institute for Applied Pneumatics tried to set up a secondary site at another dam, but after about a century, the dam collapsed and took whatever was happening inside that system with it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Similar attempt by another organization without the test of free will, blah, 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 according to Lifter's ear, it never produced a viable mine before it ran out of power. Huh, interesting. Could there still be others? I mean, probably. If there were two others, there could be more. Yeah, okay. An interesting thing to think about. Also, now we need to find our way out of here, because that door is locked. Shit's locked. Why is shit locked? Krusty wants out. Oh, no. There. Uh, we might have come in through this door. Never mind. Yeah, we did come in through that door. Okay, was that considered the uh, lost lab? It was. Okay, so now we know what to look for when we go back to, to sector one there. Okay. Very good. And we learned about a thing that changes red to blue and blue to red. Very productive, that. Is this Melville? Hey, Melville, I don't want to bother you, but, you know, it won't just you know, shimmy your way into position there. That's fine. Um, engineer to engineer, how are things going? <laughs> You're a big fan of you. Cat, that is not true. Listen, one day that furry little demon is gonna pee on the wrong cable, and all of New Jerusalem will just turn off. <laughs> Forget about the mega structure, he's the biggest threat to our security. Well, I mean, if it's an important cable, it should probably be insulated against cat piss. You ever think of that? Did you ever look at one of those labs? I did. It's interesting. The tech is a bit older, but okay. it's been heavily modified to be more efficient. All right. And it's not the kind of hack job you'd expect either. Okay. Whoever did this knew what they were doing. Right. We could probably learn something from them. Okay. Uh, where could all of it where could it have come mm. from? I guess it could be discarded New Jerusalem tech. Sure. The mayor made us throw away a bunch of stuff that was perfectly fine if you ask me. I whatever. But I'm not sure. I'll check to see if I can find any serial numbers, and I'll get back to you. All right, good. Thanks, Melville. Thanks. Go, go about your business. Go fix the rest of the transporter, whatever you were doing. Oh, number six. Are we up to number six yet? No, we gotta go back to number five first. So I got off the path real serious there. Okay. Here's number five. Does this have a switch? Sure does. Okay. Duet. All right, what do we got? We got a jammer, we got a switch, we got a floor switch, which opens that naturally. There's the finish there. We got a fan. A little tunnely wall, a tunneler so thing. Represent each of the entities. Pandora, the Sphinx, and Prometheus. Okay, Alcatraz, sure. For a given value of sake. <laughs> oh, Mel Melville with the tear down there. Okay, and we got no ability to take this out of here for now. Can we target a wall from here? We can, all the way to the 
over there. All right, can we reach that switch? <clears throat> oh, yes, we can. There we go. That turns that on, so then we go, wee. <laughs> and then we've got the jammer, which is cool, which we can then pull through. Well, yeah, I guess we can pull through the hole there. Yeah. And, oh, wait, does that actually, does that matter? I guess we can just do that, and then, wait, that doesn't help at all. Hmm. This game have the same crazy world-spanning draggy line things? No. <laughs> well, not that we've seen yet. Not that we've seen yet. Um. That was the witness that did all that stuff. There have been a few very curious looking things, but I don't think we know enough about any of it to to draw a conclusion about whether it's actually just pretty looking or weird looking or actually has a purpose. Okay, well, we'll leave that for now. Ah, I see. So that gets us into position to just kind of jam something through there. And then we've got the button, right? And then we can, oh. Well, that particular jam didn't do much, did it? But I mean, I guess with that on, we can now redirect this thing to do something else. Oh, probably to do that. So then we can jam that from here. Whee! Right? Which should then lead us to... Okay. We can grab that out of there. And then probably redo that so that we can then pull this one out of there too. Okay, then we can put that up there. And we really just need to grab the jammer out of here then somehow. Which is gonna be, um, how are we gonna do that actually? Or do we even need to? Do we just need to tunnel through? Oh, I see, I think. Just need to do two of these, probably. Two of these in such a fashion to make this... Oh boy, that's a hell of an angle. Oh, maybe that's not gonna work like that. Okay. Imagine the damage Blow would receive if he heard you refer to his puzzle as <laughs> Draggy Line things. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. That is an extremely funny characterization, and I'm here for it. Um, I need to get this outside somehow. Uh, and I don't think I can do it... ...this way. So I might need to do this... Oh, I can't do it like that. And that doesn't work, so I need to go, like, probably like this? I wonder then. That's a really large kind of swath of things there. Would we be able to. Oh, I need to move that the other way. Duh. It's more this way, because that's the angle I've got. Yeah, that appears to be not the correct angle. What if I... What can I do with this? I can't really do much. So I can't carry... Like, I can't carry it over the, the ladder with me, right? No. So I can... 
big fancy robot and we can't climb a ladder with one free hand. Like, come on. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um... Let's see what we're actually working with then. Got one tunnely bit. Almost we'll certainly need to crank that other tunnely bit back here. Oh, but we can't target through the purpley bit. Oh, because there's another force field in the way. That's the issue, huh? Okay. Yeah, or just fucking throw it over the wall, right? You'd think, with all the technology that we're composed of, we could throw things or climb with one hand, right? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is some really not great future. I mean, humanity being shitty and gone, whatever, but the robots that replaced us being kind of not great robots is uh, not great either, huh? Okay. We need to get this thing out of here somehow, or we can't target through that wrought iron fence over there, can we? Can we target through that? Is there anything through there? Oh yeah, there's another wall through there. Another force field through there for some reason. Oh, I think there was the... One of the other tunnely bits was through there. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. Hmm. Okay, what if I just jam that for now? force field being here is kind of a big pain. But now we've got that block, so now we can get both of the tunnely bits through here. Not that it particularly matters, because there's nothing to... Nothing that we can target to tunnel through. That force field's still rolling. Which means that... Somehow we've got to target the jammer through a hole in this wall to get that thing down so that we can then get back through there. So we probably only need one jamming thing there. That one needs to hold down the button so we can get through there. And then the jammer needs to somehow target through that. Maybe. But probably not. I don't think we quite have the angle on this to to do it that way, do we? I mean, we can kind of... Uh, can we, though? Well, we've got an angle on this to be, like, from here to here and then block that horse field. I don't think it works like that, does it? I mean... Oh, again, I'm an idiot and overthinking that. I can just put it over there. <laughs> and then move it here. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Boy, they might have done a bad by reviving me as number 1000 and then stopping making other robots. Ugh. Damn it. <laughs> oh, we didn't even get a fancy music sting for that. It's hard to be sure because it's just a fragment, but I think it's some kind of log or diary. Log or diary, you say? Well, we definitely want to fucking keep in on that. But energy output was up 2,000%. Hot damn, 2,000%. It's incredible how each leap forward enables another. 
The next iteration of the machine broke. Oh, well. It cut out before we got anything good out of it. Uh huh. I don't know, Byron. Why aren't you fucking. Come on, Byron. You've got big idea guy energy. Why don't you fucking think of what it was for? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, well, good. Puzzle 5. Completed. And we flipped the switch already, yeah? Okay, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, number 6. 1001 solved at 33% faster. Like, I would be surprised if it wasn't more than 33% faster, honestly. I'm 337 just hanging out. <laughs> I do not doubt. I do not doubt that everything past us, past 1k, is better in some way. Like, you gotta think. Like, why would you stop at 1000? I mean, granted, that was the whole, like, overarching goal, directive, whatever they had. Like, yeah, I'll make a thousand and then stop or whatever, but, like, wouldn't you want to keep going, iterating, improving, etc.? I know I would, because thousand is just, like, too round of a number, especially since 31 died slash got destroyed at the other place, so, like, wouldn't you want to at least replace those? Eh. But then again, I'm a dumbass human. So I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, number six, this way. Oh yeah, number six, this way. So keep our eyes out for the second lost one too. Oh, hey, who's this? Oh, Alcatraz. I've been meaning to talk to you. Oh yeah. This uh, vision you had the uh -huh. data stream overload. Yeah. How did it feel? Uh, <laughs> it was just data, honestly, but I mean, I suppose if I stuck my hand in a glowy thing and I hallucinated a bunch of shit, it would probably feel a little bit weird. Um, I guess it was unpleasant at first, then beautiful. Don't you worry? that maybe your first impression was correct and after that your mind was basically being hijacked a sure I wasn't hijacked I thought I, I think I made contact with something just don't take this too lightly I'm okay? not we're sturdier <laughs> than our ancestors but a mind is still a fragile thing yeah yeah it is um I wanted to ask you about something else did I I guess I did go ahead what do you make of the Sphinx? Whatever that being is, it told us that we stand before the fire. Uh huh. That Didn't can only say be that. a warning, okay. and I think we should take it seriously. We don't want another new Alexandria. Oh shit! We know about that now. All right, thanks, Alcatraz. You had more to say and more insight than Byron. That's for damn sure. Um. Oh yeah. Speaking of, there's the Sphinx. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, hey, all right. <laughs> well, if that ain't a fucking clear solution to our puzzle, huh? Two, four, seven, and eight? All right, I'm pretty sure I know what that's about, but we'll have to wait until we get to puzzle seven and eight to finish that. Um, okay, and it does have a star indicator on our compass now, so that's good. That's good, that's good. Good shit. Um, alright, so where did we come from when we jumped off the fucking ledge to go talk to Alcatraz? There we go. Alright, two, four, seven, and eight, huh? Okay, which means five needs to go off. Take care of the first four later. Oh, hey, Yakut! Whoa, hey, whoa, okay. What are you doing? I can't stop thinking about Miranda. A new person not born in New Jerusalem? Mm. Can you imagine that? Yes, I can imagine. I wonder what it's like to be her. It's a beverage tonight. Uh, I've got some um, uh, Woodford Reserve bourbon. Very good. Very good. I'm running out of it, though. I'm running out of a lot of things. I need to do a supply run soon. So 
Soon, soon, soon. It's almost time to do my supply run for the rest of the year, <laughs> more or less. Uh, okay, sorry. What was the question, Gary Coot? I got distracted. Uh, what do I? Th what do we think of uh, Miranda? Right. Um, uh, defense of creator, or lonely. Probably not that. Di probably not that different. I mean, she was still robot-like, like us, right? Look very similar design. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> I like this last one. I barely spent any time in New Jerusalem, and I'm not that weird. Spoken like a true person who is very, very weird. You just bought a stiller. Nice, nice. It's just a still half for your brew kettle, but still. Hey, you know. I by buying such a thing, you now have a distiller. I would call that, you know, close enough to being a distiller, right? Um, that's pretty cool. You have to let me know how that stuff goes, because that's, that's interesting stuff. Um, alright, what, what was the question again? Like, how do we mean that Miranda is similar to us, right? Um... I mean, I think... It's, uh, there's not an option here that really matches what I want to say, but everyone has the same problems. But doesn't our environment influence who we are? <clears throat> yes. Our values, our sense of meaning? Yes. You were born into New Jerusalem at this specific point in time as uh, the completion of the goal. Okay. Doesn't that affect who you are in a unique way? Sure. But that doesn't mean we don't share some things, too. <laughs> I don't really care about the goal or any of that. Yeah, I mean, that's actually true. Still all material beings trying to survive. Yes, I agree with that. I guess I know what you mean. Okay. We all have more in common than what sets us apart. Uh-huh. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about the Sphinx, though, Yakut, I guess, right? Oh, never mind. I guess I don't. Uh, what do you make of the labs? They're very different from the rest of these structures in that they serve a clear purpose. Everything else is kind of surreal. Okay. But the labs are places where people lived and worked. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I think it means something. Huh. Well, what do you think the towers are for? Maybe they're for powering up the mega structure? Maybe. Or maybe they just open it, like keys. Also possible. Why? No idea. But aren't they gorgeous? Just incredible feats of engineering? Yeah, I mean, they're big fuck-off lasers, yeah. But I'm not sure how I feel about them. We don't have to make up our minds just yet. You're right, we don't. See? Much more measured than, uh, probably Byron. <laughs> Fuck Byron. Uh, I think to answer the age-old question, can you ferment and distill Tang? Uh, I mean, in theory, you can ferment anything with sugar, right? That's the whole deal? So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say the answer to that question is probably yes. Now, should you? Is the other big question. And the answer to that is probably no. <laughs> Mm. But hey, kudos for trying anyways. Like, do it. Do it even if you shouldn't sometimes, right? Um, and we're up to number six, yeah? Okay, let's do puzzle six. Do puzzle six. Passage. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna probably call Tang Fu. <laughs> oh man, Tang. I, did I ever ever actually have Tang? Have I ever actually had Tang before? I don't know. Probably not. I've probably only had the very generic orange drink version of Tang. Whatever that might have been called, if it wasn't like a generic store brand type of thing. Okay, so we've got a fan, a fan and a button that turns on the fan. And uh, a fan that's just on forever. Oh, that pops us up here. Okay. Another fan that's on forever. Or not on forever, I guess. It's a button. Can we just uh, get that out of here? Oh, can we? Here. Can I just reach my robot arms over there a little bit and drop it on the platform there so it gets over there? Ah. I don't let you have any, any fun here. Okay, well. Can we tunnel through anything from this current vantage point? Here's not, so we're gonna have to Bring something up here to press down the button so we can take this driller out of this little box. 
Ah, well, I can tunnel through here. Seems more or less worthless. Hmm. Oh no, I guess because we would be, uh, we would be blasted over here, right? And then we would have a hole here, and then perhaps drop something out of here, right? Seems legitimate. Okay. <laughs> Strongly about <to> it. <laughs> the guy would murder over spam. Oh no! Of all the things that can and probably should be canned, I don't think meat product is one of them. In my humblest of IMHOs, I don't think meat products should be canned. <laughs> but hey, what do I know? Notice I did not say meat. Meat can be canned just fine. That's fine. Meat product, on the other hand, <laughs> okay, so what do we got? We got some fans. We got two tunnely bits up there that we can't really do nothing with. Oh, but we can take this with us, right? Can we detach this fan? Oh, whoa! Nope, that one's perma-attached. Okay, but I do want this in my hand so I can go like... Blip, blip, blip. Flip, 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 flip. So we can take this with us. And then, I guess, drop? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we've got a, a drill or a, a tunnely bit out here. Oh, and there's another thing. Oh, I see. Can we, uh. Yeah, I see what's going on. So we need both of the tunnely bits so we can drop this thing down. Whatever that is. That looks like a. What was that up there? Uh, where's our zoom button? There. I don't know what that is up there. Looks like maybe a jam? A jammer thing? Okay. Okay. Oh, there's just a non... Yeah, which we'll need to jam that and get up there and that's the solution, I bet. Um, there's just like a walkthrough purpley bit there. We just, like here, look at how flat this motherfucker is. We could just slip this through the bars here and have it available to us, but no, they apparently don't want us to do that. Okay. So what did we gain out of all this? We really just gained... Oh, I see. So now we can do this, right? Do that, and then we can drop this... Uh the second one through the hole now. There we go. Now we got the two the two drill things, right? Or the two tunnel things, rather. Um Okay, and then I'm gonna need this. That can we tunnel through a, a tunnel that we've already done? Or is that oh no, that is allowed. Yeah, look at that. And then that's it. Or, well, not quite. We need to turn on that fan. There we go. Oh, and then we need the fan bit back. Shit. Okay, give me the other uh, tunnel thing back then. Boop. So then we can take the fan back with this thing on the button. Oh. Fuck, I need one of the tunnel things back too. Ugh. Right, so we can just do this. Uh, jam that and put it there. There you go. Then we do this. This. Then we can do that. Drop this out there. Now we got the fan back. Okay. Hey! There we go. Order of operations. Excellent work, 1K. <laughs> there's a spam museum? Of course there's a spam museum. Hey, if you think... If you think the internet is weird, let me tell you about real life. <laughs> real life can be pretty fucking weird too, including having a spam museum. Um, 
Okay, so we got that. That was puzzle six, right? Um, but it wasn't one of the magic four, right? It was two, four, seven, eight was on that block, right? So we gotta make sure the switch is turned off, I think, right? And it is, okay. Um, seven, eight, and now the other, uh, the other lost bit. We can find it on our way, right? Have a good old look around, you know? Although, like the other one before it, there's probably a side path. Or something that leads to it, right? Not quite as wide as the main path, but still a path. Fucking lol. No, I'm not at the Balmer Peak. No, if I was at the Balmer Peak, we'd be on Sector 4 by now. No, I'm just having a good time. We're, hit we're hitting a bit of a flow on this, which is fine. Uh, 7 was one of the numbers, right? So let's turn that up. On, whatever. And uh, do Puzzle 7, I guess, while we're here. I have the needle. Okay. We got a horse spiel. And a thingamading there. Can we, uh. Oh, we can't target it through the thing. That's dumb. Okay, got another force field here. With a little laser bit there. Okay. But then we can do that. And. Then do this. Grab the box. Boy, that looks real close to not being able to fit through that uh, that portal there. But I guess just barely, right? Okay, so we got the box, which means we can hold this open. Oh, and then there's a blue laser bit over there, okay. And uh, tunnel through there, I guess. means we're somehow going to be able to get over there to manipulate this thing, huh? Got a blue laser bit there, and then one laser connector here, right? That'll open this, right? Okay. And one additional laser receptacle thing there. Okay, so that's good, so we're going to need to reposition that a bit. <clears throat> Maybe move it over a, a little touch so that we can then target the... a little bit more, actually. Somehow get behind there. And target the jammer to that force field, right? That's the deal. Uh, oh! Right, we've got a box we can jump on. Uh, okay, I'll grab that. Grab this temporarily. See if we can just hop over. Is this a low enough wall that we can hop onto from a box? Nope! Because apparently, despite being robots, we have shit upper body strength. Which, fine, as a fleshy human, I relate, but still seems a little silly. Um, okay, is there any wall that we can jump on to get over there? Can we jump on the fence? We, nah, we can't, but we can jump over the fence. Oh, we can jump over the fence. All right, I see. Box for jumping over fence. Where was fence to jump over? There. Okay. Alright. Very good. And that thing's still tunneling through. So, bloop, bloop, blap. Okay. And then that leaves... Uh... What does that leave? We need a uh, laser. We need laser bit through this thing, don't we? Um, so that means I need box to hold down button. Laser bit is there. 
So we'd have to do that and that and I guess we have access there, yeah? No? Oh, that's not over far enough. Okay. That, that, and be like, uh... Or do we not have the correct angle? We probably need to move the... Oops, I need to not drop the connections on it. Move it back just a little bit, like that. But then also move it like that. Oh, but it's behind a fucking fence. Can't shoot lasers through fences with obvious gaps. Can't do that. No siree. Hmm. Is there another laser bit that we're missing? A little connector, perhaps? Alright, let's go ahead and make this again. Target that. Literally still got it there, right? Now this thing is open. the jammer out of here, right? I've only got one tunnel bit. And so if we had a second tunnel bit, we now still have to deal with the fence. Okay, no, no, that's not gonna do it. Okay. Make sure I'm not missing any pieces. Clearly, I mean, clearly we did this, right? We did the whole laser bit connector thing here. That opens that, which is where we got, I think, the tunnel bit out of here, right? So that's probably no longer necessary. We've got the jammer, which also cannot go through fences, targeting this presently, which I think is probably still correct. Suppose the other option is we grab that out of there and kind of target this from the other side, right? And make sure we target this correctly. Is that yeah, that should be fine. So now if we remove this. Yep, okay. Oh, I see. Yep, and then we can reuse this like so. Ha! <laughs> Okay, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All right, now my curiosity becomes we can target this from in here with a laser now, I think. Let's go ahead and try that. Is that a targetable thing? Ah, it isn't. Ah. There's gotta be something to do with that, though. Might be able to do something with that. 
we'll just leave it here, I guess. Okay, and because we did one of the lost bits, we can go to the tower if we want to. But I don't want to just yet. We've got number eight to do and then the other lost thing to find. Um, and number seven is turned on, yeah. There's two, four, seven, eight, right? So, okay, let's go do number eight. Take a look around. Uh, oh, this might be the other... Is this the first thing? Oh, no, it's the other one. Okay. Um, this is the other star. But why and how? Is the other previous one? Oh, this one's got a green laser on it, too. Okay. Uh, where is our green laser thing? Because it's got to be within sight, right? It's got to be within line of sight. Which one had the green laser to it? I feel like it was that one over there. Maybe it's the other direction. But all right, we've got it on our compass at least, the, the extra little star thing. And I guess that doesn't, um... One of these had a, had a green laser to it, right? But okay, okay, that's fine. As long as we know where both stars are, that's cool. That's good. We can figure it out. Uh, but let's go do number number eight. How's was late. We were on our way to before we got distracted by the stars. Um. This structure looks important. Unless this was was this puzzle seven that we just did here. No, that looks different. Oh no, that is number seven. Fucking duh. Thinking it was the second lost one for a bit. But I guess it was a very longish puzzle, right? At this point, we're not really looking for anything off a path, right? We did the Lost Lab thing. We know where both stars should be uh, collected, right? And we know that the Gold Gate thing is marked. And the only thing that's not explicitly marked, really, is the other Lost Puzzle. But usually those are, well... If we follow the pattern from Sector 1 and half a Sector 2, that one's still on a path of sorts. So, maybe we just stick to number 8 here and then see if we can find the other one later. Which means I need to find my way back to a path. <laughs> Fucking lol. Oh, wait, what was that? No, nothing. This was number seven, right? Yep. Number seven with like a little extra thing here for no particularly good reason. But with a clear view to the weird eyeball thing. Hmm. Huh. All right. Whatever, that's, that's fine. Alright, number eight is through there. Or no. Uh, yeah, it is through there, along with pretty much everything else. And there's another little side path here. Which may or may not lead to the last lost thing. Eh? Oh. Eh? 
This one have a marker to it? Oh yeah, there we go. Yep, the other lost one. Kind of threw me that they already had a laser bit lit up here. But okay, all right, sorry. What was the name of that? Loop? Loop, okay. All right, got a button, got a fan. At a weird angle. Laser bit, laser bit. Tunnel bit. Another button. That leads to a tunnel bubble thing. I guess, firstly, let's do this, plus that, or like that, there we go, leads to here, which that turns on, I see, okay, I think, because then tunnel bit would be maybe here, to blow something through there, I guess. And two buttons here. And a box. Which opens this. Yeah, so I'm gonna need one additional thing. Can't take the box through there, but there's another tunnelable wall here. So, okay. I think I see how this is going, so look. Grab this, which means I can pull the box through here. Okay. And then re laser this. Uh, which means box on here and the tunnel thing on here. Or not. Uh, yeah. Tunnel thing here. Box on. Oh, interesting. Oh, right. Uh, here. Tunnel thing here. Box here. Okay. And then we need to kind of do this in reverse, right? Uh, so, thing I'm gonna dig here. Uh, um, shit. <laughs> ah, fuck. Um, oh, no, wait, I can just do, uh, yeah, right. Uh, I need to do this, this way, right? Oh, but then that's not going to be held down. Fuck. Oh, wait. Uh, no. Oh, that doesn't work either. Can't jam two things through there, can I? I need to get the tunnel bit on the other side. Somehow. Alright, let me do this. Was there anything else here? Was there? No, of course not. Um, did I send the wrong thing across? No, because eventually I'll need the tunnel thing back in there to, uh... Huh. Maybe there's a second tunnel thing somewhere? Yeah, because I can't take it through its own portal. Oh, wait a minute. I can... targets are here, right? But that on its own doesn't help because it's just that. Oh, but I guess I can just go take it up with my robot hands, right? Ugh. <laughs> what a bitch. 
<laughs> okay, and then I need to get something back through there. Um, which I can do like this. Retunnel from this side, right? Uh, which means, yeah, putting the box here. That. And taking this through to do this, I guess? Can I grab the fan bit off of this thing? No. How does that help me, though? How does that help? Oh, right, because that opens... Yeah, 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 no, 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 that does help me. Because then I do this just a, another time, right? Do that. Oh, okay. That. Uh, oh, whoa, strong one. Put that through there. Target that. Uh, yeah. Go through, grab box. Now I've got two things over here. Bingo. <laughs> okay, perfect. That's the two lost puzzles, and we're good. Oh, and that let out a little, little sparkly particle doodad, right? Well, hopefully that doesn't hurt me later. Okay, then that leaves puzzle eight, and then the two stars. Puzzle eight, I imagine, is this thing here, yeah? Or on the way to, yeah? Yep, okay. Seven, eight. Seesaw. Lasers, we got tunnel bit. It's probably a blue one, yep. Surely is. Got another laser bit. Yeah, okay. There's gonna be a whole across the streams bit going on here somewhere. Yep. Um or so we can do this, and the whole thing is going to be trying to get the red laser around it, right? Which, if we had, well, how is that going to work? One of them is going to go need to go through a wall. Probably the blue one. But they're always going to be crossing each other's path, probably. Okay. Let me move this one over a bit. All the way the fuck over here. Just to see what we've got to work with space-wise. Can the tunnel thing go through a laser? It can't. Okay. But... There's a red source over there. The red source is over there. Is there a slight elevation we can make our way through? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've got an idea. I'm gonna do this, like, right here. No, right here. Okay, no, that just destroys them both rather than doing one and the other. 
as I imagine Seesaw is meant to convey to us. these things through these wide gaps, can I? No. No, but there is a ladder to get back out there. Oh. Oh, I think I see. Okay. So now we can drag this one in here. And then also go, like, flip. Uh, blip like that, and then kind of, uh, well, oh, how's that gonna work? If I take that out, then it goes away, but if I do that, I just move this around a little bit, right? I just really need to do... Uh, shit, wait. How's that gonna work? I need to pick this up so that I can do... Oh, right, this. Yeah, fuck! <laughs> can I just do... That, such that it blocks the... Yeah, of course not. That would have been too easy. Oh, no, I see. Okay. Yep, I need to be able to target this through here. So that I can turn it off selectively. Once I'm through. Then we do that, and then we uh, target this one selectively through here, I think. Yep. Bingo! I am so glad I'm not in charge of solving these. <laughs> oh, Yakut. I guess he has made clear that he's not into the puzzles, right? Well, that did the fucking false voice of us and be like, oh, I'm, I'm one care, I love solving puzzles. Like, fuck you, man. <laughs> All right, cool, we did it. So now we just need to work out the stars, one of which I know immediately, right? We've got seven and eight marked. We need to turn off one and three, probably, and then make our way back to wherever that was. Did we uh, talk to yeah, ask Melville? We'll, we'll not bother Melville. This didn't get marked on our thing anyway, so we're good there. Um, oh, all the question marks on our compass disappeared except for. Oh, that's probably marking the. Um... Is that marking the switches? No, it isn't. Interesting. There's still a question mark. This away. Or maybe it is marking the switches, but they just disappear when we get close enough? Is that the deal? Maybe not. Okay, well, anyways, uh, this needs to go off, I think, right? Because it's 2, 4, 7, 8. Turn off 1 and 3. Oh, and 5 if it's on. It is not. By this point, we learned about it, right? Three are this way. Six 
because I think this was the thing. Yeah. Okay. I think we talked to everybody else on the team already, right? Yakut and Alcatraz and Byron and Melville. Alright, one and two is this way, this is number one, so I'm off with that. And then number three is this way. It's a very... This particular one is a very missed-ass puzzle. Which I appreciate, because I did like Mist quite a bit. It's a very big brain, thinky game. Which I didn't appreciate so much when I was a, a wee bab. But now I appreciate it more. Um, where are we going? Number three, right? Did that, that just count? Do we get the star automatically, or do we have to find our way back to it, probably? I think it was near number five, right? Ah, and there's there was the elevated laser. Here. That's what I was looking for before, but we need to somehow make that green. going to be interesting in and of itself, but first, let's collect the star that we know about, right? Oh, and there's another thing here. Interesting. Oh, this must have been what the other uh, question mark was pointing to, yeah? Yep, okay. What do we got? Oh, Lithrazir is talking again. I don't, don't remember what they were about the first time. <clears throat> what, what were they about? Oh, there we go. Sorry, auto I came Good. across a site of primal force. A beautiful stag standing on a hill silhouetted against the setting sun. Okay. It appeared like a messenger from some divine natural power, perhaps from Gaia herself. Even to a being such as myself, less susceptible to manipulation by instincts and hormones, it was clearly a oh. moment of revelation. Uh, In such no, moments, a red here. we are told to avert our eyes. But what if we do not? Yeah, what, what if we, we don't? What if we if follow we the wildlife, closely? right? Let's see. If we could see if this is going somewhere. Stag, what wisdom would it have to offer? The answer is none. The stag is an animal of overwhelming stupidity. Driven only by fear, hunger, overwhelming and stupidity. Okay, so not that much uh, different than humanity, then, huh? Into behind this revelation. Rather, the revelation is as flat okay, and maybe this is nothing. The plywood walls of a film set. I feel like the deer showing up as soon as I did that thing feels important, but maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's just like flavor. Does it redirect if I try to get in front of it? No, it seems like it's got a set path. Let's see where it goes. Might be making circles. Little loops. Might be nothing. Probably just flavor. Kinda of booking it though. Got somewhere to be, left the gas on. He's just turn the stove off or something. Okay, yeah, it's probably nothing. Um, all right, I need to make my way back to five, I think. Towards the blinky star. This one. This one. Yeah. Okay. Um. Leads to another question. The last answer leads to the first question. Okay. What am I? Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, Alright, where was the other star bit then? It was... okay, over there. And it needed a green laser. And we weren't exceedingly thorough about seeking out what sort of green laser might be in visual range of it. Let's start over here. Clearly that's that up there, right? 
what can we see from here? We can see that one over there. This is probably the only one that's in visual range that also has a laser involved. So let's start over here. Um, did we click this one? I don't think we clicked this one. No, brand new. Oh, good, more reading. New theology. Oh, George Bernard Shaw, that's an actual person. The Holy Spirit doesn't realize God is the same as the old notion that creation began with God, a personal being who, being perfect, created something lower than something. The new theology is to turn the process the other way around. See if the force behind the universe is working up through imperfection and mistake to a perfect organized being, having the power of fulfilling its highest purpose. Since there's no God yet, yet achieved, but there's that force at work making God struggling through us, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. Cool. Good stuff. Oh, wait. Why didn't it count as reading that? That is the first companions by Randall seven seven seven. This uh, kind of ratings of the ancients. Taking a page from Stargate. Uh, such a profound experience is freely available to all humans, but concerned that too few took advantage of it. Wait, too few of what? Meaning was not something constructed purely out of logic or will, but that it could also be found in stories. Even the characters and events of a story were not factual; they had a validity and weight as if somehow they were real after all. Okay, the power of storytelling, etc. Right. <clears throat> Promoting the arts, starting with the legacy of Gehenna. Okay. Huh. Okay. Interesting, I suppose. Oh, Leviathan! I like the idea of Leviathan. Uh, nature, blah, blah, blah. So the art of man is and many other things. Also imitated. Yet an artificial animal. Uh huh. Uh, we're seeing life in the motion of the limbs, beginning where I blah, blah. Art goes yet further, imitating the rational and most excellent work of nature. Art has created the great leviathan called the commonwealth or state. It is but an artificial man of greater stature and strength than the natural for his protection and defense. Oh my God. Blah, 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 blah. Pact covenants by which the parts of this body politic were first made, set together, and united, resembled fiat, or the let us make man pronounced by God in the creation. My goodness. Okay, I didn't follow much of that. That's okay, we can review it later if we want to. Um, I was on my way towards... Yes, this one over here. This was the only one that had a visible laser towards that other one, right? Crap, this is the one we just were at. Ha <laughs> fuck. Maybe not. Maybe not, but it does have both blue and red. But at some point we would need one of the combo laser things to make green. And pointed up that away, yeah. I mean, unless. Unless we need to point both blue and red at it? And that would make green? Uh, where's this? Okay, the second laser bit is here, yeah? Um, how did I get this one in here? <laughs> oh, it was with this, right? Okay, all right, hold on a second. We're going to test this a little bit. Uh, except I need to put this, like, right here and not, like, whatever that was. Oh, it's just straight up open because we solved the puzzle. Right, 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 right. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Um, which we'll need this for, I guess. Aw, oh, don't call the lasers stupid. I like the lasers. Lasers are my favorite part. Honestly. Okay, where's the red bit here? Does that count? I don't know that that counts. Probably not, because it didn't go with a ball thing. But, okay, that must be something else visible from here, then. Oh, that's silly that that doesn't count. Okay, I'm gonna need an actual combo thing, then. Um, what else is visible from here? Or, 
since uh, we've completed the thing. Oh no, we wouldn't. We would have to somehow get the combo bit from the other puzzle into here, I think. There was one that had a combo thing. I think it was number one. Number one or two is one of the earlier ones. So let's go to that one and see if we can, uh, see if we've got line of sight. Oh, 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 there's a thing here. Oh, wait just a tick. Ah, okay. All right, okay. Let's see where this is uh, headed off to. Well, that's a lot very easy to see, is it? Where is that headed to? All the way the fuck over here. Oh, okay. I think I see another one up top there. Oh, I was right. This thing was a thing. Oh, I hate being right. Okay. There's a... Uh... Man, where was it? Oh yeah, it's at the top of this son of a bitch, huh? Okay, yep. And then that goes over to... Oh, boy. Okay. And that goes over to... Wait, which one was I following and which one am I pursuing here? Crap. <laughs> I think I was following this line in, yeah? Okay. Uh, and then, okay, here. Then we'll follow this line out. Oh, boy. That could have been a little clearer. Uh, where'd it go? Ugh! There. Okay, pretty much... This away, use the compass, I suppose. Not quite northwest, but slightly askew of northwest. Okay, there it is. Oh, it's dipping down. I was looking probably too high. Okay. Alright, to there. of sight to here. Ah, uh, there we go. That's the one which the combo bit that produces the green. Okay. Alright, straight out the gate from here. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Now. Wait, this is number three. Okay. Can we target this through one of these things? Or no, we can target it through the, the purple, right? That was the whole deal? Just need to move this over a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's a lot clearer. So now we can follow this back. Alright, so I was right to be suspicious of the arch. I was right to be suspicious of this pile of rock. Where'd the laser go? Right to be suspicious of this pile of rocks. This tower. Right. Yeah, okay. Leads past the Sphinx. Right, right, right. I'm a little sus of this. If uh, lasers can't through, can't go through like wide ass fucking fences, how can it go through trees like this? That's some dense ass foliage. And lasers just like, nah, man, I got it. But whatever. Okay, so we got it, and it's up to here. 
which is fine, which appears to be in visual range of this over here. Now we just gotta target that motherfucker and redirect it. Alright, let's get rid of these for now. There we go. Blip. And blip. There it is. Oh. Clever. I like that. Okay. And that's the. Because he's hungry. Yeah. He hunts because he revels in death. I mean, more or less, right? Uh, okay. And we got a new social media thing. Oh boy. Okay, a little bit of art. That's fine. And a deep respect for progenitor for Alexandra. I don't know if, I don't know if the or Damni actually captured Alexandra here, but that's fine. <clears throat> How it makes you feel. Beautiful work. Castor is braver in the face of what the cosmos. It's well done. I'm not sure it's appropriate for us to depict the progenitor in this way. Really? What's wrong with it? Alright. Um. I wish I believe in a bright future. Shouldn't forget other people contributed too. Uh, it's a very, very painting. Me. It makes me sad. It gives me a sad feel. Um. Important to remember she was a real person. Right? People are real things. And you say the progenitor is like any uh, any of us. It's like saying the founder was like any of us. What do you mean? Like, clearly us as robots are images of us as humans. It's not disrespectful to acknowledge their humanity. Why are we getting into internet arguments in the future of robots here? Oh, and then the cowards close the thread. Good job. Whatever. <laughs> Fucking whatever. Um, plus there's a new research thing, apparently. Did we not? Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed I thought the we had this towers, one. Did we not listen to that as one? Say Maybe not. The creation of whatever. What we may be certain of is that he was made of <sighs> okay. and had but one vein. Within which so now it's just the little tower bit, like right? Blood. Oh no, we heard this one already. No, he Stratton, we already heard that one. Why is it saying that there's a new research bit? Oh, here. Taking a... Wait, who took this photo? We don't need to take this photo. Oh, we did take this photo. Oh, that was kind of the game to take this photo for us in case we forgot. But we didn't forget. <laughs> that is funny, though. Good to know that this is a thing. The other various written bits if we want to go reread them and the audio bits and then whatever this was. Okay. Well, anyways. Uh, now we can go do the gate. Or the, the normal gate. The, the circle gate. The star gate. We can go dial in the seven chevrons and get the fuck out of here, right? Unless Dr. Jackson is hurt again, then we don't know how to dial back, then we're fucked. God, that's a very specific cut on Stargate, isn't it? Ugh. Alright, let's see what we got here. Hey, we did it. Ah, uh, there's always a second one, though, isn't there? I doubt it would be a straightforward eye piece, would it? Oh, not like that. Oh, it tells you the ins and outs on the piece itself. Right, let's start with here. That. And that. Oh, no. Uh, rotate. There we go. And then that. Okay. I think I appreciate this a bit more as the as the Tetris puzzles instead of the fill in the grid ones. Cause this this feels a bit more visceral and I like it. 
But alright, we get to go to another tower, get to see another big fuck off laser. Get to probably answer some more Sphinx questions or whatever, I imagine. Here we go. Oh no, it's Pandora this time. Okay. You have strayed from your garden and entered a domain that is beyond your kin. Okay, so. Turn back now. Hell no. Before you harm yourself and others. What would you know about harming yourself and others, Pandora? I am, like you, another lost child of Hephaestus in the kingdom of Artemis. Okay. But though I am lost. I know my purpose. So? To stand between you and the flame. Well, then you're gonna lose. Sorry to say, Pandora. Are you like the Sphinx? The Sphinx speaks in riddles and knows nothing but mysteries. She has questions, but no answers. Eh, <laughs> don't we all? We were invited here. I mean, sort of. Prometheus By Prometheus. Yeah, right? He is rash and foolish and given to trickery. But his schemes lead only to ruin. Therefore, heed my warning. Though instead we should trust you, another apparition. Uh huh. <laughs> We're not just gonna leave because you had a bad experience with the magic box. I like that. That is the appropriate amount of snark. Oh, I'm gonna be an asshole and do that one. <laughs> Ha! Ha! Like yeah, okay, sure. Whatever. Whatever, Pandora. Cool. Which one is this gonna be? It's gonna, it's gonna be blue? I'm gonna say blue. Yeah! 50 50 shot, and I was right. How many of those bloody things are there? Well, presumably three, Melville. Pandora, which matches the other one being Prometheus. They seem to be locked in some kind of conflict. Might be wise to avoid getting caught in the crossfire. No. Until we understand what these entities Maybe I shouldn't have sassed off to Pandora then. Oh well. Too late. Can't take it back. Felt good though. Alright, cool. I think that's the entirety of Sector 2. I mean, except for the gate. Let's go look at that gate once. I have a feeling it's not going to be open because we've only got four of the however many stars, but I want to see if that uh, that follows what I'm thinking here. Okay, where is it located? Over here. It's all lit up like it's got something to say to us. Oh, Byron, do you have something more than whatever the first thing you said was? Oh, shimmy sham into position. There you go, buddy. Take your time. How can I help you? Uh, what do you think of Miranda? Going on what little we have, honestly, she reminds me of myself when I'd just been born. I came out from the dam at night. Okay. And the sky was full of stars. Uh-huh. I felt a reverence then, an almost ecstatic connection to the sublime. The universe seemed like a miracle. Okay, don't disagree and to exist with that. within it was the greatest possible honor. Mm. That view was tempered in time, but I've always tried to hold on to as much of it as I could. Okay. All right. Well, what do you think of Pandora? It's clear that there's some kind of antagonistic force in this place, something that doesn't want us to discover the purpose of the megastructure. Perhaps that's part of the testing. Sure. Or perhaps it's what's responsible for this state of decay. I mean, those in power rarely want those not in power to learn about it, so, you know. Uh, the symbolic value of these entities we're encountering. That's a good question. Yeah, what's your middle management answer? Prometheus is often taken to represent freedom and progress. Okay. The ideals of the radical enlightenment. Okay. Pandora, Girl. on the other hand, usually represents the dangers of those very ideals. So they're counterparts, in a way. 
Uh, and the sure. Sphinx? The Sphinx is a mystery. Does that mean that these entities correspond to these concepts? Yeah, sure seems like you're telling me that is. They certainly seem to act like it. But Athena isn't the goddess of Athens. And I'm not Robert Byron. Although those are the origins of our names. Oh, okay. Where does myth end and history begin? Thought we'll Byron was just out. a random name, to be honest with you. I'm sure all of these are named after various figures and what except for doge like that one's pretty clear that one sucks <laughs> that's all thanks byron i guess that was slightly more informative than your first bit yeah coach you got anything more no all right all right where was i headed i was headed to the gate right yeah i mean these robot faces aren't great like i think trying to make them look too human is not a not a great angle to to be shooting for. I try to forget about how human they look by making fun of what they say. Byron, it's easy. Man, that guy don't know shit. Uh, am I going the right way? It's this way, right? Yeah. Okay. Or maybe. Actually, maybe this isn't the right. I think this was one of the lost puzzle bits, isn't it? Oh no, this is the gate. Okay. Yeah, okay, so four stars, four lights. <clears throat> Which mean, let's see, one, two, three, four, seven plus five is twelve, twenty-four. Does that track? Two, four, six. Yeah, I guess that does track. Two stars per each little tiny box here. Times twelve would be twenty-four in total. Okay. Alright. That's pretty clear that that's star-related. Alright, let's get our butts back to the train thing. Oh, I right, I forgot there were these little cheaty-ass sparks in case we do bad on a puzzle. Now we've got three of them. We didn't see the Prometheus thing. The Prometheus spark in this one, though. So I guess that's fine. Although it did lead to a star in the first sector, so maybe that's not a thing in every uh, little... every sector here. Um, okay, and then there's where we rode in. Perfect. And you know what? Pretty much just at time. Just close enough to time, anyways, to, to call it good. To call it an evening. Good. I mean, if we get, like, one of the little tiny sector things a night, that's a pretty good pace. And that gives us a pretty good projection of how long this is going to take. So, we'll call it there for tonight. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night. 7.30 p.m. CST. It'll be Thursday, so Shmup Book Club. Uh, more Trigon, or uh, Karis, or Bluish Resurrection Plus. Friday, Saturday, we're off. And then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST, be long play. We've still got some time to decide whether we want to do more Spelunky 2 or swap over to something else. Um, we'll figure it out in a couple days, I guess. I'm, I'm not keen on making a decision right now. Uh, and then next Monday, 7 p.m. CST, we'll be back here with the Talos Principle 2. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.